So it's a big day in Austria today as it holds its parliamentary elections. Now the results are expected to favor the far-right Freedom Party, which is likely to win up to 26% of the votes. Now let's show you a detailed report on how a number of far-right populist parties across Europe have made political gains in recent years fueled by the migration crisis, Brexit and also Trump's anti-immigration campaign. A number of far-right populist parties across Europe have made political gains in recent years. It's been fueled by fears about Europe's largest migration crisis since World War II and bolstered by Brexit and Donald Trump's triumphant election campaign in the US. In France, National Front leader Marine Le Pen made it to the second round of the 2017 presidential election. Despite losing to Emmanuel Macron, she still achieved a record score, winning more than 10 million votes with her anti-Europe, anti-immigration campaign. The Alternative for Germany party, known as AFD, won nearly 13% of the vote in Germany's 2017 general election, making it the third biggest political force in the country. The entry of dozens of hard-right nationalist MPs to the Bundestag chamber breaks the taboo in post-World War II Germany. The AFD started out in 2013 as an anti-Euro party and transformed into an anti-migrant, anti-establishment party. Jobbik, Hungary's radical nationalist party, has proved instrumental in blocking EU migrant quotas, although the right-wing ruling party has also adopted a tough anti-immigration stance. In Austria, the far-right Freedom Party managed to overturn the result of the presidential election in May 2016 due to procedural errors after leader Norbert Hofer was narrowly defeated. However, he was again defeated during the December 2016 rematch. Italy's populist Northern League was a key member of Silvio Berlusconi's coalition government. Its policy platform includes similarities with Trump's campaign, including economic protectionism and fighting immigration. In the Netherlands, firebrand Islamophobic Freedom Party leader Gert Wilders came second in 2017's parliamentary elections. In Bulgaria, ultranationalists entered government for the first time in May 2017, when an alliance of far-right parties, the United Patriots, formed a coalition with centre-right Prime Minister Boyko Borisov. 